ओम शांति दिस इज दी सागर मुरली ऑफ एट ऑफ डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन यू आर स्पिरिचुअल लवर्स ऑफ दी वन बिलबेट दी सुप्रीम सोल योर हार्ट्स मस्ट ओनली रिमेंबर दी वन Let the love in your hearts be for the one father. Question: What is the stays and effort of Mahabir children? What are their signs? Answer: Those souls continue to make effort to make themselves pure and sato pradhan. they are not concerned about anything else it remains in their intellects that they now have to be transferred from the old world to the new world they have no fear of destruction they have the fire of spiritual love in their hearts by making effort they become beads of the rosary of rudra song neither will he be separated from us nor will the love of our hearts break om shanti this is called spiritual love that is these spirits have love for the spiritual father the world also remembers that spiritual father liberate us from sorrow and remove our sorrow after saying remove our sorrow they also say give us happiness this is there is happiness at the beginning of the golden age and so there would surely be sorrow at the end of the iron age you children understand these things no one in the whole world knows them among you two there are only a few it is said that there is a handful out of multi millions this is a spiritual love of souls for the supreme soul only the one supreme soul is the beloved of the whole world he is the beloved of all souls and everyone calls out to him souls are not big or small you souls now love the one supreme father the supreme soul this is called spiritual love in the world those lovers and beloveds are physical their love for one another is also physical love your love is a spiritual love only the father comes and removes your sorrow and gives you happiness you receive a lot of happiness and you then also receive a lot of sorrow the father says o oh children you now love me because you know that baba will make you into the masters of the land of happiness he is the bestower of liberation and liberation in life the father says you may live in your own homes just as bodily lovers live separately in their own homes this too is like that i come from a far away land to teach you you called out to me o purifier come o remover of sorrow and bestower of happiness come now in fact i come at my own time it isn't that i come when you call me 
I come when you have to go from the iron age to the golden age. When you have to change from human beings into deities and when you have to become elevated from corrupt. So you now have a spiritual love for the father. You have the fire of spiritual love with it you just as on the path of ignorance they have the fire of lust of or anger you souls now love the father the world doesn't understand anything they say that god is omnipresent that he is beyond name and form on the one hand they say that he is beyond name and form and on the other hand they say that he is omnipresent so that also includes human beings and animals etc you children now know that the supreme soul is the beloved of souls you have to love him you know that many calamities and also many different types of obstacles will come everyone faces obstacles this is not something new although baba is telling you completely new things for establishing of the new world it is also written establishment takes place through brahma however no one understands the things of establishment or of destruction what is it the establishment of they say god created the sacrificial fire of knowledge in which the horse was sacrificed for sobriety The sacrificial fire was definitely created to attain self sobriety. He teaches you raj yoga in order to change you from an ordinary man into narayan and from an ordinary woman into lakshmi. So what is the result of that? This is something new. This is why people become confused gurus cannot grant anyone liberation or liberation in life they have all told lies when they said that so and so went to the land beyond to nirvan or became a resident of vacant brackets heaven Baba has explained that they have sewn backgrounds on the ceiling on the Dilwara temple and them doing tapasya down below. You have now understood that this Bharat was backgrounds. Only you know when it was that. What would worshippers know? it is human beings who become as worthless as cells and it is human beings who become as valuable as diamonds previously you didn't even think of these things the father has told you that you have to make effort and claim a high status if you make effort well you will claim a high status in the new kingdom if you make effort well you will claim a good status heaven is not far away fro- for you when students study and pass at school they are transferred from one class to the next you too are transferred from the old world to the new world 
you know that after making effort we will then go and become beads of the rosary of rudra in schools when they pass they are seated number wise here too you children know that you are studying and that you souls will then go to the incorporeal world you will then go into the new world at the end everyone will know the results will be announced at the end those who are mahavirs will not be concerned about anything they know that destruction has to take place and that there is nothing to be afraid of earthquakes have to take place you have to go to the new world just as students understand that they will be transferred to their next class you souls are now studying with the supreme father the supreme soul you now know the beginning the middle and the end of the world from tamo pradhan you will become sato pradhan your study will also end we will then pass and go to baba you know that whatever happened in the previous cycle the same has to happen now you children have to make effort in every situation you children are purifying your yourselves with the power of yoga it is only by your having yoga that the alloy is removed from you souls we have to become complete yogis we have been lovers for half the cycle we have now found the beloved he is making us worthy of going to the new world actions also have to be performed while doing everything you have to remember the one father alone it is in your intellects that you are purifying yourselves with yoga the alloy is being removed from souls with yoga we have to become complete yogis It is in this that you need to be very brave. Lovers and beloveds continue to go about their business and also continue to remember one another that lover and beloved are not lovers because of vice. They have love for the body of one another and this is why they are remembered. these are the spiritual lovers and the beloved you have been remembering me for half a cycle i have now come and met you people think that they will receive liberation from god the father says for you liberation in life is a test to liberation you will go into liberation and then definitely go into liberation in life you become free from any bondage of maya you then go into the sato pradhan stage it is a law that you experience happiness first and then sorrow everyone has to go through the stages of sato rajo and tamo It is now the Tamu Pradhan, totally decayed stage of the tree. The sapling has to be planted from this. The sapling of the deity tree is being planted. Those people plant saplings of trees, etc. 
they have those ceremonies what ceremony would you have they have a ceremony for a forest your ceremony is for heaven you change thorns into flowers all of this applies to the confluence age you now have to make full effort you have to make effort to have constant remembrance you will benefit a great deal you will receive a very good inheritance you need to have yoga that is full love for the father it is through this that your sins will be absolved only by having yoga will the alloy that you have in you be removed everything depends on your remembrance otherwise maya makes you perform sinful actions the father says whatever sins you have committed place them in front of the father and ask for forgiveness the father has come in front of you personally therefore ask for forgiveness it is number wise with you as to who loves the father fully only those who love the father follow his advice the rama of all of you sitas is the one father you have understood and you now have to explain to others however devotion is like a retail business while doing that they will die there will be war and destruction will take place and you won't be able to do anything then the path of devotion will end just like that you children are now claiming your inheritance from the father the father says children do not forget me you are the most lovely you receive the highest status of all if you don't study you won't receive a status baba says whatever illness you have all of that is a karmic account of your own actions you have to study and teach others a kingdom is being established poor and wealthy maids and servants subjects etc are all being created here those who become emperors would definitely have performed very good actions it is when you follow srima that you receive a good status this school is very important status is number wise some barristers earn a hundred thousand whereas other barristers wouldn't even earn 500 that would be sad to be their fortune if someone is unable to study fully it would be said that according to the drama such is his fortune you will claim a status according to how you have studied as you progress further you will have visions of everything you will be told i made so much effort on you and yet you didn't study so there will now have to be punishment you will have visions of the punishment of many births you have to go into the karmatit stage 
and so at the end you will have visions of everything you did that and this is the punishment for it you are given visions of the punishment you souls now know that you are the children on the path of devotion you were lovers of the beloved and you have now found him what do you receive from this beloved oh he is making us into the masters of heaven you now know the father and the inheritance this is why the father says explain to any people you meet that they have two fathers one is limited and the other is unlimited you receive the inheritance of happiness for 21 generations from the unlimited father in ravan's kingdom there is nothing but sorrow this is why they remember baba o remover of sorrow and the stopper of happiness come this is something so easy people's heads get spoiled when they see the face of brahma someone has to be prajapita brahma if not then where would he come from the bks give the proof brackets of the existence of brahma we bks are sitting with the father this is the human world tree and so prajapita brahma would also be here the father says maya will fight you a great deal she will not allow you to remember the father therefore remain very cautious maya will try to make you turn your face away from the father however you must turn turn away your feet are towards hell and your face is towards heaven you now have to go to paradise acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father pap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 is study and teach others very well become a true lover and have spiritual love for the father don't perform sinful actions second if there are any obstacles or calamities do not turn your face away from the father become very brave and overcome any obstacles blessing may you become equal to the father and let your drishti and your feelings be full of love for all souls from the copper age onwards you have been insulting the father so much and yet he only loved you so follow the father and become equal to him no matter what souls are like 
let your drishti and your feelings be full of love this is known as being loving to all whether someone insults you or dislikes you have love for everyone no matter what your relatives may say or do let your feelings be pure and benevolent for all this is known as being equal to the father slogan a special soul is one who only sees and speaks about specialities slogan a special soul is one who only sees and speaks about specialities om shanti